Com. We're continuing our fall foliage showcase across Middle Tennessee this afternoon here on News 4. Yeah, today's stop takes us to Clarksville where we find meteorologist Stefano DiPietro. At least the sun is shining, man. Okay, we saw Lebanon yesterday. Now we're in Clarksville. How's it looking? It has been a beautiful day, guys. I have to say, started a little cloudy this morning. The sun has come out. That's really showing the fall colors. This time of year, though, with less sunlight, we start to see less of this and much more of this kind of color. And the reason for that, remember, is because when we have less daylight like this, chlorophyll, the sort of energy mechanism that makes that green color in the leaves stops. That's why we get that changeover. Look at these two beautiful maple trees that are just off to our left here. The reds, the oranges are looking great. Now, the good news is we haven't quite hit the peak just yet here in Middle Tennessee, but it's on our way. As we pan down and look right along the Cumberland River here in Clarksville, it is a beautiful sight to see as the leaves are just starting to get their act together. We're seeing more and more of that fall color come out. And this is the week, my friends, with much cooler days and chilly nights that are ahead of us. This is where we will hit the peak. And then after this weekend, when we get a couple of good freezes, that should pretty much be the end of it. So if you have a chance, even just riding up 24, Interstate 65 or 40, everything looks beautiful as these color change. So guys, we're going to be here in Clarksville all evening long, looking at all the fall colors. We're going to continue our fall foliage coverage right through the rest of this week, all the way up until Friday. But for right now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Stefano DiPietro, News 4 Nashville. Love it.